food, I absolutely love the food over there. Um, I realized that like food here in America isn't nearly as good as over there. Um, I remember being out there and feeling really good after I would eat. Um, and then I realized eventually that my stomach would always feel not the best here in America. And I, w I never knew because like I had grown up here in America. Um, but out there when they don't have like the preservatives or whatever and the food's all fresh, um, it j just makes you feel great. Um, so it's a lot of, uh, a lot of vegetables, which is, which you end up loving. Um, and a lot of potatoes. Um, there's a lot of traditional um, Russian dishes um, that are very, very popular over there, such as borscht, or um, which is like a beetroot beet soup, which um, I hardly ever find any missionaries that hate that soup. It's it's so good, and they usually put like some meat in there, and then some like vegetables and um, some sour cream on top. And their sour cream is incredible. Um, and then there would be uh, pelmeni, which is like um, almost like pot sticker type type of a deal like um little uh pasta pieces with a meat inside and you would eat that all the time as missionaries especially because it was really cheap um and you can make a lot of it and usually you would either boil it or fry it and then you would uh put on um some sauces um some sauces that we would we love here in America, and you can typically find over there in the supermarkets, such as like uh, a sauce called Texicana, which is like a almost like a salsa. Nearest thing you can get to salsa over there, or you can put on like um, sweet chili sauce or something like that. Um, and then they also like blini, which is Russian pancakes, which they're almost like crepes. Um, those are amazing, and if you ever do eat with members. Um, I'd say probably about six times out of ten they'd feed you blini, um, and it's a really, really awesome dish. Um, and then tea, um, everyone's tea drinkers over there, they love their tea, um, so you have a lot of herbal tea and you get to like that a lot, um, especially in the winter. Um, and then each country has its own like little uh, little dishes like I know Lithuania had one that was called uh, Sepalini. I think I probably butchered that name. So if any like Lithuanian speaker views this, I'm sorry. But um, that was like a potato dumpling, which was really good. And then um, typically you'd find like just a bunch of international foods. Um, if you go out um, to the restaurants, um, you would find like Chinese places all over the place or you'd um, find uh, Turk Turkish food like uh, Turkish kebabs which you end up loving um, probably one of my favorite places to eat um, was this Armenian restaurant um, that was in a city outside of Narva Estonia and it was uh, it's called Ashot's uh, tavern or pub or something like that and it was like it was like a pub or a tavern but um, we would have like uh, traditional Armenian food and those people they know how to make uh, make food right it was it was amazing um, and then you would have there would be tons of pizza places everywhere um, but it's not typical American pizza you it's um, very Europeanized so it's kind of interesting um, and then as for the dishes that missionaries make on their own because most of the time we, we cook ourselves um, lots of pasta um, potatoes, eggs, um, vegetables, as I said before. Um, most missionaries really, really end up um, loving red peppers over there, red bell peppers. They're amazing over there. They taste so good. And then like onions and then that type of stuff you put in everything. And then uh, Russians also love putting dill in everything. So you have a lot of that. 